Hi guys, good morning. Uh, today we'll see a platform app builder certification maintenance for the winter 2025. Right, uh, so first we'll see the multiple choice and then after we'll see the hands-on uh, practical uh, task. Got it. Just click on this uh, multiple choice. Okay, they're given uh, four questions. Let's see one by one. So what are the advantages of uh, uh, using the dynamic highlights panel to configure fields in the Lightning App Builder? The panel can show or hide the fields based on the visibility rules and it allows the addition of uh, custom icons uh, to the field names. Uh, fields can be configured right in the Application Builder. Uh, we'll go for E. The panel can show or hide the uh, fields uh, uh, based on the visibility rules and the fields can be configured right in the lighting app builder the next uh, second one so uh, what enhancement was made to flow a builder or create or uh, record elements it creates a records uh, following a check duplicate steps and it can be used to create or update the records uh, using the record collection. It creates or deletes the records based on the specific field value. It moves, retrieves and creates the records into the one element. So we'll go for option B. It can be used to create or update uh, multiple records using the record uh, collection. Next, uh, true or false. Uh, when the disabled field is uh, set to true, the uh, users cannot uh, modify that field in the screen component. Yes, true. Next. Uh, so what is uh, displayed on the improved user access uh, summary page? The selected user assigned uh, permissions, public groups or uh, queues uh, the selected users uh, is added to the leads and accounts assigned to the selected users uh, will go for d both uh, a and uh, b then so here we have a uh, check the quiz is there now just click on that uh, check the quiz done right so uh, part one first part is uh, completed next uh, so we'll go for hands-on a uh, uh, practical task see here get hands on with the conditional formatting in dynamic uh, forms let's see uh, uh, what's that okay okay so first uh, so we'll launch the uh, playground right so uh, what's what's that navigate to the sales application edit the page on contact record and uh, so leave as it is uh, let's uh, go here let's go here sales application then go here setup go here setup in the quick find box in the quick find box just to find out uh, lightning app uh, builder in the quick find box find a uh, app builder right uh, the click on here new button and select the record page then click on here next and uh, what was the label what was the uh, label contact a uh, record uh, page what was the label contact uh, record uh, page right uh, on which object that's on a contact object select the object as a contact then click on here next now template so see here the clone uh, salesforce default page is then a uh, second one just uh, the select second time and here the contact record the view for lightning console select uh, this one then click on here done that's it right uh, so next uh, next uh, what we have to do done so uh, remove uh, remove the standard highlights panel 
right uh, come here so uh, this is the standard highlight panel just what i'm doing just i'm removing just to click on here delete that's it right uh, so we removed the standard highlights panel next uh, from the fields tab drag the a dynamic highlights panel and ensure name is selected as the a primary field on the component right uh, now you can go here fields the left side after the components we have fields now just uh, select the fields and here we have a dynamic highlights panel option is there just to drag and drop that uh, a dynamic highlights panel here next to see here so by default we have the name is there now right uh, so by defaultly name field is there that's it next uh, add the following action buttons on the component right now come here this one and then after right side we have action button is there action button is there click on that action button so what's that edit just select the edit then click on here done next uh, delete select the delete then click on here done next we added edit and delete next drag the following fields into the dynamic highlights panel what's that title and account name right go here just uh, find out uh, title see we got title just uh, drag and drop the title next uh, account name account uh, name drag and drop that account name next uh, phone number email id phone number next uh, email id phone number email id next contact owner level contact uh, owner and uh, level done everything is done right next uh, save and activate the org as a uh, default one you got it so just you can go here type it we have save button is there now click on that save right so just click on here activate and uh, so a default org as an as a org default select this right uh, so for the uh, desktop then click on the next and then click on here save that's it so once again click on here save no more changes now you can come here then check the challenge check challenge to earn 500 points just to click on this right so we successfully completed platform app builder certification maintenance for the winter 25 right so guys all of you subscribe for this youtube channel so you are getting so more and more uh, informative videos uh, related to the salesforce thank you have a nice day